Welcome to Manifattura Automobili Torino. My name is Riccardo Garella and I'm Sales and Marketing Manager here at MIT. The story behind uh, this car is a one-of-a-kind uh, story. It starts with a challenge that was uh, presented uh, to us by this uh, Japanese uh, corporation, Aspark, uh, that uh, wanted to create something unique and something extreme. Uh, the challenge was to realize uh, an hypercar, an electric hypercar that was able and capable to accelerate 0 to 100 in, let's say, times uh, sub 2 seconds. What we did was to, to take this uh, first uh, target that we had from the client and to study what systems were needed to achieve uh, the 0 to 100 uh, acceleration target. The client had uh, also a couple of particular uh, requests. So they had uh, clearly a, a design in mind that were presented to us. They wanted a car that was uh, lower than one meter. So if you add all these things up, up. It's not a, a huge brief to, to develop a car, but it's a very compelling and strict brief uh, on some aspect. And we had uh, really few space uh, and not a lot enough space to accommodate, uh, uh, for example, normal seats in the car. So we had to design and to help our clients to design an interior that is uh, very unique. Essentially, you, have, uh, you don't have seats, you have uh, upholstery pads that are connected directly to the chassis through a carbon fiber structure. And also the sitting position, since uh, you have to accommodate and to allow space for the batteries, uh, it's a sitting position that is much more closer to uh, a Formula One or a race car than to uh, a normal uh, luxury car. And so everything is it's close around the driver. Some would say that it's, uh, it's very strict, but it's in, in reality it's, uh, it's roomy if you, if you know where to position yourself. And uh, you have a very leaning back uh, sitting position that uh, really allows and enhances this uh, acceleration performance. Clearly, this is also one of the main points in terms of uh, customization that the clients can, can play with with the difference of colors, materials, uh, stitchings, uh, and uh, the overall experience is, is always something of luxury and performances uh, combined. Electric cars are heavy, they need a lot of space for components, and so to have a car that was so low and so small, the design uh, that you see, it's, uh, it's really particular in that sense as well, was a challenge in itself. Uh, having said that, the, the concept behind it was, uh, was achievable. We found out that with the right balance of performances uh, in the motor and battery motors, sorry, not, not one, but four, and in the battery department, we could have achieved enough torque and enough uh, power to reach that acceleration target. And uh, another big challenge was regarding the tires and the surface in which you, you run the acceleration on. We started from uh, uh, the design, we packaged all the system and components that were needed to, to have car working. We developed from the chassis to the suspension to the all electric and electronic infrastructure. Electric cars run essentially on software, so we developed our own car management software and with that uh, all the systems that uh, take care of the acceleration of the torque vectoring, so the coordination of four motors, uh, each for each wheel, uh, to, to, to reach that kind of performances. And, and in that sense, uh, we managed to design and engineer a car that uh, is really capable of doing 0 to 100 in less than two seconds. The latest test that we ran was in Greece uh, two weeks ago and uh, what we achieved was uh, 0 to 100 in uh, 1.94 seconds uh, and we have a 0 to 300 acceleration uh, time that is below uh, 10 seconds which is uh, probably the fastest accelerating hypercar electric at the moment.
please remember to like and subscribe to our channel.